Hi everybody, my name is Ron Cantor and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. And we're coming to you from beautiful Jerusalem. In fact, right behind me is the upper room where the disciples met before and after the resurrection of Yeshua. And we're in the middle of a series called The Nine Biblical Reasons That the Church Should Bless the Jewish People. And reason number eight is because the Jewish people, my people, have been alienated from the gospel. A few years ago, I wrote a book called Identity Theft. By the way, you can get it at our website or on Amazon. And that book was about the fact that Yeshua, Jesus, has been robbed of his Jewish identity. Sometimes we are accused, even by the Jewish community, of changing the gospel to make it more palatable, acceptable to Jewish people. God forbid, we simply want to preach the gospel the way the apostles did, because it was initially a Jewish story for Jewish people. Now to be clear, Yeshua came in response to the prophecies of the Hebrew prophets in the Hebrew scriptures. He didn't come to Rome, he didn't come to Berlin, he came to Israel, he was born here. He preached amongst the Jewish people during his three and a half years of ministry. And we're getting ready to celebrate Passover here in Israel. And he died on Passover. He rose on the day that the Jewish people would bring their first fruits offering, which is why, by the way, that Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15 that he is the first fruits from the dead. And of all the days that he could have chosen to pour out his spirit on his city, he chose the Jewish feast day of Shavuot, first fruits, which you might call Pentecost. And did you know that for the first about 10 years, the Jewish apostles only preached the gospel in this country. It wasn't until after Acts 10 that the gospel began to go to the nations. And then after that, sadly, the church took a hard turn against the Jewish people. And suddenly Yeshua and the gospel was recreated into a message that was foreign to the Jewish people. So when I present a story about Peter, Paul, and Mary, you think I'm talking about a folk rock band from the 60s. But in fact, I'm talking about Shaul, Miriam, Yaakov. These are Jewish names, and these are the names that they went by in the New Covenant. So what often happens is that when we present the good news of Yeshua, the Jewish Messiah, to Jewish people, they immediately say, nah. That's not for me, that's for Christians. In fact, that is what some rabbis told me when I went to meet with them in Brooklyn. I had been a believer for about a year and I went at the request of my parents to meet with some rabbis. I spent four days with them and the primary thing they told me is that Jesus is for the Gentiles and Judaism is for the Jews. Of course, that makes no sense if you study history because Jesus came to the Jews. He lived here. His message was established here, and then it went to the nations. But I have to tell you, when I first heard the gospel, I had the same thought. When my best friend Brian and Jimmy began to share the good news of Yeshua in our high school, it, in fact, every day at lunch, it was like a big uproar because these guys were radically born again. And they would share the good news with anybody that breathed. And every day at the lunch table, they were talking about Jesus. And you know what I did as a Jewish person? I just watched like I was watching a ping pong match or a tennis match. I said to myself, this has nothing to do with me. I'm Jewish. I'll let these guys fight this out amongst themselves. So as we shared in Romans 11, it's on the nations to provoke the Jewish people to jealousy. And one of the ways we can do that is to restore the Jewishness to the story of the gospel. Now that's reason number eight why the church should bless Israel. Go to God.tv so you never miss an episode. Please follow Ron on Twitter and Facebook at Ron S. Cantor to find out more about Ron and his ministry. For more information on God TV and the Out of Zion programs, or to view these programs again, go to God.tv forward slash Zion. Alpha.